Hi, what you're seeing in front of you is the cover of a bearing block. We were requested by a group of students to show them how this can be done. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you how dimensions look like. So this is how the dimensions look like. So they are in inches, all of them. And this is the bearing cover, the bearing, the bearing block cover. And it's in cast iron. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to do the bearing block assembly. First, without wasting any time, we're going to go create and then you, you know the procedure. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to now draw our rectangle. Our rectangle. There we go. And then from here, we're going to go and give dimensions. That's why it to be 0 0.7. Point seven inches as with the drawing and this one here need to be 12 inches after that is done what you're gonna do is we're gonna draw the lines for guidance so that is the first one and I want you that's wasting any time from the to here to be six millimeters that need to be six millimeters and then i'm gonna make sure that i drag back my line and drag back my line d thank you very much so once that is done the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and draw my circle that is my first one this is my second now my third my fourth and i want now the dimensions or the distance from center to center to be 4.5 inches as per the sketch. All right. Now the next thing that I want now is to make sure that the dimensions that one need to be 3.5 inches. 3.5 inches as given on the sketch. And this one as well need to be 3.5 inches. 3.5 come on 3.5 inches once that is done what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna make sure that from here to v now i'm having 2.25 inches that is done and this one here need to be two inches two inches as per the sketch that one as well need to be two inches two inches that is great and then here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to trim all the unwanted parts. So that one, this one, this one, that one, that, this one, that one, this one as well, that one, this one, that one, that one. I don't want these ones here. Come again. Let me go back. What did I do? Yeah. So I don't want... I don't want that port day. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. And then I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. And I don't want that. So that is done. I'm gonna go and say escape. So now the only thing that I can do now is to go on 3D model and then extrude. So this one need to go as my drawing tend to go extruded by six inches, so that needs to be six inches. Six inches. So I'm gonna make sure that it goes both sides by three inches, three inches, three inches. Then I go, okay. <clears throat> In here, what I'm gonna do next without wasting any time is I'm gonna go on the origin. Now I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna go on X, Z origin and draw. And I'm drawing now. What I need now are uh, these holes that you're seeing there so i need those holes to be in. so here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just flip it like like that okay there we go so in here i'm gonna have to have my holes here what i'm gonna do just to avoid wasting time i'm gonna have to draw lines for guidance so that is my vertical one my horizontal one so once i got those i got those ones so now i'm gonna go for a rectangle so that is my rectangle 
okay then i want now this one here to be 10 inches as per my drawing 10 inches that's what this case says and then here this one here need to be four inches thank you very much four inches and they yeah, i need to make sure now that from v to v i'm having two v so that needs to be two and then from here to v that need to be five come on that need to be five so once that is done i'm gonna make sure that i drag back my lines these lines for guidance need to correspond with the axis z and x so now what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna draw my holes my first my second my third now my fourth the dimension so that's what i need to be uh 0 0.61 inches the same apply here 0 0.61 inches 0 0.61 inches and then it goes there as well so those one need to be 0 0.6 inches that done and then this one as well 0 0.61 inches so great yeah what i'm gonna do next since i got everything that i needed i need now to take out those lines the one for my acting, I don't want that. I don't want that. The lot, the lot. So here, I go into the model. I say extrude. So I'm gonna flip my drawing. So that one need to be extruded. This one, that one, that one. Both sides. So that's on this side, and I say, okay. So now that this is done. What I'm gonna do now is I need to get you see what I'm seeing there. Okay, I need to get those fillets there everywhere. So I come back here yeah. <coughs> first. I need to get the fillets here. So this one here, yeah. this one, and uh come on, that one. <coughs> this one as well need to have a fillet of one inch degree so this one need to be one inch okay <clears throat> once that is done now i need to have the fillet for the that's gonna around everything so now i go there so that's one come on let me start there so I want you, 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 you just as simple as that. You selecting every way. You two come back here. You and you. You and you. So let me give it a break. So that's one need to have a fillet of a radius of 0 0.25 0 0.25 inches so that's done i'm gonna carry on so now again that that's one day so I'm going to select every way. This one there. Really. That and that. That as well. That. That. And that. So now I'm done. So those ones need to have a foot of radius of 0 0.25 inches. All right. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my material. So according to the sketch, according to what is given, so this one needs to be in cast iron. So I go V, I see, 
cast iron where is cast iron cast iron so this is great this is great so this is what they wanted from us that okay you can see the okay okay this is so great so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you're gonna enjoy it so for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself but remember we now need to go and do this drawing but now for the people who are all interested on in doing this sketch that you see in front of you though then i'm gonna say thank you and see you on the next video for now and then i'm gonna say bye